No one in this village will help you. You can't run this place by yourself. Have your honest assurance that you have ample experience in the trade. And more importantly, I know I love reading. Do you realise how very little working capital we have at present? Yes. <laughs> the only person here who reads is Mr. Brunton. Do you not read, Mr. Raven? I don't. Real life's enough for me. No one has plucked up courage enough to sell books in this forsaken coin of the world. That you don't really look old enough or strong enough. That's hard to say after first glance. You look old, but you don't look strong. Many of us are not at all convinced by the sudden transformation of the old house into a shop. I have read Lolita as you asked me to. It is a good book. You really lost your head over this one. Mrs. Viola Gamut of the Stead feels personally affronted by the current state of your window display. Thanks to her connections and acquaintances, Mrs. Gamut is a very powerful woman. Does that not concern you? No. Are you sure we have received the proper advice to run the business? There's a possible buyer for your shop. The shop is not for sale. Your wonderful campaign will make sure the town councils can acquire their historic properties. Excellent. What I value most about human beings is the courage. And you, Mrs. Green, possess that quality in abundance. Surely you have to succeed if you give everything you have. It's fun working here, even if I don't like reading. She wants to get rid of you, and she won't stop until she does. But you mustn't speak to me that way. I would very much like to have met you at another time in my life. You make me believe in things I thought forgotten.